Hello everyone, my name is Prakash Mithani and welcome to Learn in Tech. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can customize your list using InfoPath Designer. So basically, we're going to customize our InfoPath form for this particular list. So first of all, what you need for that purpose is you need one list and we can customize that list. So this is how my list look like. If you are using SharePoint Online, this is what the structure of your list look like and you can make it uh, a classic experience and then it will look like for your SharePoint 2013 or on-premise version whatever you are using. So in the list section click on the list tab and there is a customize info path option here. You can click on this and other way of doing it that is uh, go to your list setting in the form setting there is an option customize an info path click on the section and your form will be open in info path designer go in a page design section and choose one of the layout for your form you can choose any one of them what kind of structure i need is i'll create a two column structure here and I can first of all make it center line to this entire form I can make it center line once the, the, this is center lined what I'll do uh, I need first name and then I need a last name also so what I'll do that uh, first name and last name I'll add in this particular row so how can I further divide my row into subsequent column is split cell i need two column here and two more column here right so my first name is there and my last name will appear here so i've created first name last name so what i'll do these are my properties which i've already created in my list if i go in my list these are the column which I've already created, right? First name, last name, manager's phone, all these things. So what I'll do, I'll just drag this first name and we'll drop it here. So there is my first name and remove this particular first name thing from here. And this is my last name. I'll remove this last name from here. Once that is done, what I can do is I can add an email option here. And put my email here. Once that is done, what I need to do is I need to merge this particular row. I'll select both column and merge cell. Once that is merged, so what I can do, I can insert, you know, different uh, input box, combo box, button from here also. So I'll click on button. A button is inserted here. I can change the button property from here. And I can change the name for this particular button. I will put the name submit. I'm going to create a submit button. On the action section, you can choose the action. So, uh, so the action reflect that if you click on a button, what action should happen. So I'll click on submit. So the data will be submitted to that particular list and in the submit option so there's a lot of advanced option also you can select from here and put the heading user data form all right so this is our form uh, look like and I can make these column height bigger by just dragging this particular section just make this look beautiful right now what you need uh, to do is when someone click on a submit or what you want that uh, a thank you message should come up there and uh, just to you know say thanks to the user that for submitting your data and once your data is submitted just put a thank you message so how we can actually do that uh, what we need to do is we need to create a view for that particular purpose create a new click on the uh, new view option and Just name your view. Thank you click on that and just 
uh, thank you note and in the thank you section just put your message thanks for your form So once that is done, a thank you net node has been created. And if I go in my editor menu, view, this is my first view and this is my second view. So what I want now, whenever someone click on the submit, it should change the view. We need to go in our first view and put some validations or a rule here so that on the click of this particular uh, submit button query there should be that thank you view should come up right once i click on submit here a thank you note should come up so for that purpose what we need to do is go in our button property in the action select rules and click ok and uh, go in your property section in the add rule section there is when this button is clicked switch views right and we want to call that thank you view when we click on this particular button so that is done so we'll check this in our preview section how it is looking <coughs> so this is my form what it look like and when i click on this button this thank you note should come up what we need to do is now to publish our info path form so i'll click on this quick publish and you'll see that this is publishing to our server so once that is published because you know we have a customized this form through our list so it's no the location where to publish it's right so once it is published we'll be able to see this particular so you can see that the form template was published successfully try to add some data here so now our form is there i'll add the same detail and we'll click on submit and there's a thank you note and click on ok and now our data is submitted you can see that there in the last row our data is submitted. So this is how you can submit your data in your InfoPath form and how you can edit your InfoPath form in SharePoint Online and SharePoint 2013 and SharePoint 2016 on-premise. So this is it for this tutorial in SharePoint InfoPath and I'll be talking about a lot of things about SharePoint next tutorial. So thank you so much and keep watching and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.